Scott Moe made education a key plank in his campaign to lead the Saskatchewan party. He pledged $30 million this year. That would fund 400 educational assistants in elementary and high school classrooms across the province. That would start replacing the $54 million slashed from education in last year's budget. Moe repeated that promise in his final pitch to Saskatchewan party delegates at this weekend's convention. And after listening to educators and parents across the province, I made a commitment to add $30 million to the education system. Mo promises to have that funding kick in this year. And educators are optimistic it will come through. Sean Davidson at the Saskatchewan School Boards Association says it isn't enough, but he's confident he can work with Mo on finding more. $30 million is certainly a good start, but uh, it's likely not going to cover all the pressures that school divisions are, are facing. But I think as Mr. Moe gets into the role and he's made a commitment to engage with the sector, I think that we'll be able to, to uh, outline exactly where our position is and, uh, and exactly what we need. Optimism like this hasn't been seen for a while among Saskatchewan educators. Relations between the province's teachers and the government have been frayed. With last year's budget cuts and teachers being asked to take a 3.5% pay cut along with the rest of the public service. There's also ongoing contract talks. The president of the union representing educators in the province says he has a positive relationship with Mo and they can work together on these issues. I found him to be respectful and, and trustworthy so I have no reason to doubt that he's not going to focus on education and bring the, the funding that he's committed. Neither Mays nor Davidson would comment on current Education Minister Bronwyn Eyre and whether she should stay in Cabinet. But they both said they're looking forward to working with Mo and whomever he picks to lead that portfolio. Alex Brockman, CBC News, Regina.